I'm from Temple of Balance, and this is our um, ah, my tripod's legs are getting wobbly. This is our patron healing list event for May. So I'm recording this, or well, not recording, I'm here live actually on the 31st of May 2022, my time. That's in Tasmania, Australia. And you might wonder what's beside me. We're going to do, a, oh, I'm going to do a bit of painting with you today. So I'll explain what this is about shortly. Welcome. We've got 41 people on our healing list today. So if you're one of them, please let us know in the comments. Uh, welcome to you and welcome to you all. Um, so the plan, the intention um, is I'm going to drum in just a moment. We we'll use this drum. Trees, growth, transformation, perfect for the energy right now. So I'm going to drum. This will become like our smudging, drumming, clearing, preparing. Gail, good morning. Um, so we'll drum instead of smudge today as a way to shift energy, especially energy that is sort of hovering around. So I think of smudging or in this case the drumming intention will be to clear out the just the everyday stress stuff that you might have going on so things that are on your mind things that you've got to do just everyday kind of stresses uh, if we can clear that out as early as possible then we can dive deeper into the healing potential that's available today um, so we'll be drumming and then I've printed everyone's name out here <laughs> I haven't looked at looked at it yet but Every now and then, every few months, I uh, print everyone's name out and I pull a card and I keep the person's name covered and I just write a little note. So that's what I've done this month. So I haven't seen who's got what. Hello, Jane. Welcome. I'll show you more of the painting in a minute. It's really cool. It's um, quite interesting, actually. Um, and I see that I need to... I've been painting in some branches and I can see from my video that I need to add a little bit more up here to balance this off. Hi Rebecca. Uh, so I'll just add a bit now <laughs> while I've got wet paint because I'm going to add with you um, we're going to add some blossoms and some leaves and I'll just darken that bit there Sometimes you can't, well, I haven't stepped back to have a look, but um, sometimes when you're creating, it's good to take a photo and, um, or look in a video <laughs> like I'm doing because you can see what's balanced and what isn't. It's a bit easier to see from that other perspective. So... And just a bit more up here. And okay, that's good. I'm satisfied. The reason I add this now is because I want to add some things over the top and I want that part to be pretty much dry before I do that. So, so uh, back to what I was talking about. So I've got your names down here with some a little message for you. So I'll read your names out after we drum. Then we're going to work on this. And I feel like I'm going to talk about this when we get to that point. So in about 10 or 15 minutes or so, uh, probably about 20 actually. Hi Bathsheba, welcome. And Rebecca and Susie, I didn't see you there. Welcome. Um, so yeah, I'll talk about this as we go. But yeah, it'll probably be 20 minutes or so actually, I'm thinking. So we'll just fly with it. Um, so let's get ready to drum. I might pull a card actually. We'll pull a card just with our drumming intention. I'm really feeling strongly to use the drumming time like a smudging. Um, so to clear uh, sort of everyday stuff. The things that are sort of really rolling around in the forefront of your mind or uh, that are creating attention right now. Um, it might not be everyday life stuff, but something that's affecting you today or in this moment. So whatever's sort of loudest happening for you that you're sort of holding on to, let's use this drumming time to clear that 
to release and we'll keep this card in mind too oh it's card 62 called synchronistic order and it's in the rest category here and down here it says structured oh sorry no it doesn't <laughs> it says constructed constructed built structure hard work durable and stable building order hindsight looking back stability and support things lining up and sign so this card brings with its structure and in some cases it may even be connected with a building or things that were building in our life so it could be building uh, a better routine or building um or constructing better time management it could be trying to get a bit more organized and see if that uh, works for us and our personality and our lifestyle so it can be sort of that type of structure that we might be creating or you might be thinking about at this time um, or an actual building but it tends to talk about order and order I think about structure I think about construction I think about building things so that's our card here I'm going to grab the drum I'm going to uh, also unpin my microphone for drumming because it doesn't sound very good in this microphone um, Okay, so I'm going to drum with this drum. Um, so this drum is available on my website. No, I haven't used it yet since I've painted it. Uh, but very much drawn to this earthy feeling here. And I'll explain more in regards to this painting behind me. But also this uh, transformation here, this butterfly almost held like a cocoon or held in within the roots of the tree, within the earth itself. And this represents us. This represents a part of us that wants to emerge from that hiding place or emerge from that healing place. You know, some of us have spent a long time healing and sometimes it can feel like the healing is forever. It's ongoing, it's just constant, it's relentless. So we can feel like sometimes that we're just on this ongoing healing journey and in many ways we are. So this is like the, the process, this is the journey, this is what we have released, what we have discovered, what we have learned as we have been through um, our most recent or this phase, up to this phase of our healing and really calling now this part, this growth that we have achieved, if you like, out into the open, out into the... Uh, onto the surface of the earth, up into the branches, up into the trees, up into the butterflies here that are sort of enticing, almost like a scent or a smell, a scent, a fragrance that's also enticing us as this butterfly out. So, yeah, trust what you feel you need to do, but also think about what you need to release in regards to what's uh, at the forefront of your energy at this time so what are you stressed about what are you worried about what are you feeling a bit anxious about uh, what are you working through what are you discovering or uncovering at this time so I'm going to play the drum I'm not going to talk because I won't have my microphone um, so I'm going to unpin it now and uh, enjoy I'm going to really be thinking of clearing the energy and supporting
Okay, interesting. Energy moving pretty quick with this drum. And I kept feeling drawn like a magnet back to this butterfly. The butterfly here is very strong in the spine. So really highlighting actually this card that was pulled before drumming about structure, constructing things, building order or structure, um, support. We could also add here foundations uh, in our life and within ourselves especially as we use this time to emerge and bring parts of ourselves out of hiding, out of that safe healing place and out into our words that we speak, the actions that we take, um, the deeds that we do, um, our behaviour, our attitude, that sort of thing. So that's that. Exciting. Okay, let's pop this card back. And we're going to move in now. I'm going to summon you guys here uh, on this paper. So if you just joined in, welcome. Um, so we have 41 people on our healing list today. And I've printed your names out and written a little message next to your name. I haven't looked at the names at all. So I don't know what message goes with which person um, because I covered up the names and just wrote the messages there. The messages are based on healing energy cards that I've pulled. Um, so I pulled those as I went and I did that before starting this video. Um, so what I suggest that you do is when I get to your name, um, see how that feels for you. You may want to write the message down and really sit with it for the rest of the day or a few days and really see how that fits to you, how it feels and what this means for you. Now, also, I'd be really noticing the messages that are connected with other people that really stand out and speak to me. So I'm noticing the things that speak true, like, oh, yes, I can really relate to that. But I'm also looking, I'd be looking for the ones that I instantly reject or I instantly have a, a trigger or a reaction to. And I'd be really paying attention to that as well. So let's see what you got, what your message is and... Uh, I trust it resonates and supports you. Now, as I'm also saying your name, I also imagine that that is summoning you here to this healing space. Um, and we're about to dive deeply into some creating here in just a few minutes. So um, I imagine this calling you here. So Pamela Floria, welcome. Your message is to adapt and adjust. Marguerite Pepper Brady, your message is to trust in your path. Nicole Wiggins, you've got one word today, which is accelerate. And I see movement uh, and almost like a, at a rapid accelerated pace. Jane Larson, your words are deep changes. Angie Griswold, your word is recovery. Kimberly Vaness, your message is to find understanding. And when I wrote that, it really felt like an understanding of a situation that feels confusing or difficult to understand at the moment. How can you find understanding or comprehension of that that uh, you're confused about? Emily Fussell, your words, your message is falling apart to come back together again in a better way. So I didn't have much space to write all that. So I just wrote some notes of those words. But it feels like things falling apart, almost crumbling, so they can come back together better than before. Victoria Daniels, your message is raw emotion. And this is a good thing, raw emotion. Gail McCoy, don't let your insecurities stop you. So I'd be looking at what are my insecurities then and why are they stopping me? Bathsheba Dixon, you had the cleansing and the purging card. So I've written here cleanse and let go. So lots of releasing and purging, clearing out. Joanne Munro, your message is that you are capable and to focus. Magenta Borales, your message is to look in the mirror. Find courage to look in the mirror. Andrea Stewart, your message is 
that this is a chance for you to start over. Ellen Stensley, your message is mental expansion, so expanding your mind. Michelle Birch, complete surrender. Angela Fraser, your message is to lift up out of fear. Jane Corlett, your message is that things are coming together. Sometimes we might not see that in life, but it's a reminder that things are coming together behind the scenes and you can trust that. And Chris Allen, welcome Chris. Uh, Chris, your message is to bring the formless into form. So what do you need to manifest or create or make or bring to life? Carol White, your message is one step at a time. Susan Sonsting, your message is to stand tall and true. Andreas Karzandzidis, your message is about the power of your breath. You had Dragon's Breath card. This is really about power. Uh, like your personal power and working with your breath to really help you tap into that power. So I wrote here, power of your breath. Canty DV Weedad, your message is to let assistance come. Matthew Keith, your message is all that needs to be done is done. Chelsea Keith, your message is to be resistless and do not hesitate. Go for it, in other words. Jane B, your message is that you are protected and safe. It's going to be okay. really is. Tash Gerlach, your message is um, that there is a temporary setback and to... Uh, remain strong, remain strong during this temporary setback. It's temporary. That's a good thing to remind yourself. Robin Hippler, your message is to hold position and prioritise. Christopher Regan, you're being guided to uncover your heart. Rebecca Ross, ah, your, your message is to use your hands to help you. Your hands for healing for creating, for building, or whatever else you can use your hands. But your hands, there's something about your hands wanting to help you at this point. Alison, uh, your message is to understand what the problem is. So uh, it's similar to a message we had before with Kimberly. Um, an understanding so you can have more information about the problem and what you feel is a problem at this time. Susie Nichols, your message is to start something new. Priscilla Kimboko, you're being reminded to let go and allow flow. Yvonne Krasich, Yvonne, you're being guided to ride the wave and deal with the facts. So riding the wave and deal with the facts as they're presented. Bridget Mertens, your card, actually, you had our card that we had before, structure and hard work, things lining up, things coming together, but creating structure through your hard work and your efforts and your consistency. Janice Chalmers, you're being encouraged to walk lightly and dream. Sandy Greenham, your message is to look within because you have the answers. Joanna Levine, your message is to own your power. Kathleen Glenn, you're being encouraged to keep perspective. Susan McMillan, your message is a growth and expansion. So this growth and expanding energy. Raina Ortiz, your message is to sort out the mess. And Avril Daly, you're being guided to bring your ideas into form. 
So how can you take your ideas to the next level? So welcome everybody to our healing place today. Thank you. Okay, let's talk about this that sits behind me. It's big. <laughs> um, so there's something really crazy about this house that we moved into is that for some reason, most of the doors were taken off <laughs> and were replaced with these weird things that we've taken off. But there's also, so doors are weird here. There's also this weird door that goes into a weird place. And the first thing I want to do is block this door because it doesn't need to be there. In fact, it's just question marks. Who on earth decided to put a door there? That sort of thing. So I thought a couple of, actually I thought, yeah, last week I suppose it was. Feels like weeks ago. I thought I might paint a mural to put over this door opening and um, we'll basically block this door off because it doesn't need to be there. So uh, on Sunday when I was at the gallery, I like to paint when I'm sitting at the art gallery, manning it, <laughs> sitting in there. And so I thought I bought myself a board that's going to become the part of the mural board and then I was thinking, okay, what can I paint on this? So I was looking for some inspiration, some ideas, and went from one thing to another that led me back to the stag. And the stag's been coming up for me since last September when I wanted really strongly, and I haven't done it yet, to make a stag power uh, a totem pole. So a totem pole with a stag with antlers on top of the totem pole. So it's still something that I want to do. Um, so that that's really cool. Oh, thanks. Hi, Raina. And thanks, Bathsheba. Um, so I've been drawn to the stag, not obsessively, just it's appeared from time to time. In fact, we saw a few deer in the wild when we were driving here last week as well. So anyway, I got thinking and was inspired to start this stag. So I'll show you down. It's in progress. It's certainly not complete at all. So this is still needs a lot of refinement, but a pathway. And we've got this young uh, fawn uh, with its stag father here. And um, so that's that. And it's on a piece of timber. So it's on a, a sheet of MDF board or ply and uh, it's really fun to work with because it soaks up all the colours so you can get all this sort of, you know, misty, um, non-detailed kind of areas and it, it bleeds if it's really wet because I really like to water down my acrylic paint. So it's it bleeds out and creates really beautiful texture and patterning. So this is what I started on Sunday. Now, rewind back to last Monday, so not yesterday, but last week, I had to go curtain shopping, which I don't particularly like to do. It's a bit overwhelming. Uh, anyway, I ended up <laughs> finding a set of curtains for our sliding door out in the other room that is beautiful. It's got um, really fine branches, you know, fine branches across a dark navy background. It's not, it's not abundant, it's just, a branch every now and then there's a little bird sitting little blossom little leaves and last night I realized or it may have been the night before because um, I was had this nearby and I thought oh it actually feels like what I'm creating these antlers to be which are like branches uh, so I without realizing it I've bought uh, curtain branches and uh, I painted this without realizing a connection so this has a really strong uh, energy at this time um, as I'm settling into the house as well. But this just this general sort of growth, but it feels very youthful. Like, um, you know, like after a dormant winter, the plants uh, go into growth mode and they start growing all these shoots that are really thin and, and youthful and um, lush and beautiful. And that's what this feels like. So with you today, I want to create some leaves and some blossoms throughout here um, to really highlight that sense of growth, but also that feeling of blossoming. And so what I encourage you to consider 
as you're connecting, maybe as you're watching, as you're feeling, as you're um, maybe creating too. That would be awesome. Uh, really think about the areas of your life that are growing. Also, perhaps give thought to the areas of your life that have been cut, pruned, that are maybe lacking in growth or feel stunted or feel like have reached a dead end. Can you channel your energy now into a new sprout, a new um, growth, a new branch of yourself and your path? So I'm probably not going to add any more um, like branches here. I really want it to fine out, you know, get finer and more faded up here, a bit lighter in, in its feeling. It feels quite... Um, well, at this stage, and it's going to be even more so, it feels quite solid and grounded through here. And the bodies of the deer are very strong and grounded like roots. So we can afford here for this to be lighter and a bit softer in its feeling, a bit um, maybe a little bit less manifest too than this energy down here that feels denser, even through here, feels denser. It feels more formed, more tangible then up here that's starting to feel a bit sort of uh, faded, a little bit um, shimmery sort of energy that's maybe working its way into form. It's less formed here. It's a bit more formless, if that makes sense. So let's see how we go. I'm going to start with making, creating some leaves and I might get up on my knees. So just excuse the back of me. But I do have my microphone pinned to the front, so um, so you should still be able to hear me. Okay, so <laughs> all right, I've got my uh, palette here, which is just an old plate, and lots of water and a nice big brush, big calligraphy brush. I've got a few tissues to blot out excess water if needed. So I'm going. I always use primary colours. So I'm just going to add the lightest colour first, which is some yellow and a little touch of blue and start creating, add different uh, amounts of blue to the yellow around it and also a touch of red, which makes a bit of a brownie or green. So I've got a few different shades here emerging. I'm going to start with the darker one. So as I'm drawing these or blotting these, leaves in think about what's growing for you at this time and what's feeling stagnant or stuck or blocked or like it's reached a dead end somehow let's zoom in because that might be better oopsie that's super zoomed in let's zoom in a bit here so you can see a bit closer up Oh, jeepers. Okay, just calm down. We're either going super zoomed or not. Anyway, okay, let's go with that. Um, okay, so nice and watered down and just adding some leaves around in the darker green first. So think about what's growing, what's stuck, what's stagnant, what's working, what's Growing for you also personally, so within yourself, your healing, what you're doing in life, what's working, what's really working, what feels great right now that's really growing for you and blossoming. Nice big breaths. Okay, any big drips? I'll blot out with tissue. Don't need big streaks of green running down. Okay, now I'm going to just add some of the lighter green through. A bit of the yellowy, brighter green. And 
then we'll add some blossom wouldn't that be cool uh, stags antlers being like trees tree branches Okay, I think this is working. Okay, just mix a bit more green up, yellow and blue. And we'll add a bit of white so that I've got a lighter green. I'm going to, oh yeah, that's better. Add that, especially down here. Uh, can we see? <laughs> no. Okay, here. It's like spring, springtime growth. We've got an amazing, huge, old rose tree here. And from the two almost dead roses I can see, because it's winter, it looks like it's going to be a really light, um, I need more yellow. It's going to be a really light um, pinky yellow, which I'm very excited to see it in blossom once we hit round to spring in a few months' time. So I'm just adding a bit of yellow over the top of some of these patches just to brighten and warm, warm this up a little bit. Okay, and then fading out a little bit at the top. Now I can look back in my video here and just get an idea of how that is feeling. Okay, so next we're going to add some pink, some light pink blossoms. So I do need to wash my brush off because I don't want to have green contamination too much so how are you well that's zoomed in eh all right so just cleaning my brush here I tend to work with the same brush for the most part okay so I'm grabbing a bit of white untainted white and a touch of red not much so I want this very light pink Okay, so I'll start with that, add a bit of water and just see how this feels. Okay, I'm going to add, I'm actually going to take a little bit of red aside with the pink that's on my brush just to create a bit of a darker pink. Yeah, okay, just a darker pink so that I can then add the lighter pink to it. Just add some little blossom areas. So just dabbing and this is I imagine blossoming that's blossoming you blossoming let's um, start down here although I do want to have most of the blossoms towards the end um, up on the ends of these branches we can add a few in here And then we'll go over this side, hopefully you can see. So more a bit circular dabby. <laughs> okay, so while we're here, let's add some lighter pink to this, which is pretty much white. And I'm just going into the middle of the blossoms with the white 
I'm not being too perfect or fussy. It's just more of a dab, loose, let it mix. If I miss a couple, it doesn't matter. And then that just adds a bit of a blossom effect. So I think of these blossoms, this nice light pink, as gentleness and love, support, nurturing. Okay, so let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah, so we can get a better idea. Go up. Oops. Okay. Now back again with the dark bit of red. We're going to add a few more up here, but I want these smaller because I want it to feel like these further away so I'll do little clusters oh I can't even see there little clusters of blossom right up here just with the real point of my brush so think of the really delicate things that are blossoming for you at this time or that you want to blossom what do you want to blossom in your life Doing little clusters just with the very tip of my brush and just spreading them out a bit like that, and the same on the other side. And let's meet them up so they're actually forming a completed circle. Here. So I imagine the blossomings like the blossoms like two hands touching. And really thinking about what's coming together, what's blossoming, what's growing, and what's not. Okay, I'll just add some red. So this is really dark pink. Just going to dot some red in various places. It will mix with the pink anyway. Just to add a bit of depth to the blossoming, the blossoms. Before I add the white. Okay, that's good. All right, so now adding white. I'm just going to go straight to the white, which makes light pink, and just add with the tip of my brush petals, edges of blossom, cherry blossom, maybe, blossom of springtime. Okay, and now just add, just so we give it a bit of variety, a tiny little bit of blue to some of the pink. So it makes a really light purple, like a lavender colour. And I'm just going to dot that around just in a few places. And you'll barely even notice, with unless you're looking closely, but it will just add a little bit of a contrast to what is essentially similar colors here which is basically red and white yeah just a bit down here and the blue is good to add sometimes because it also makes it look like some of the blossoms are cast in the back Blue can make the eye draw the um, area back. 
whereas red tends to bring forward. So let's have a look, I'm going to zoom out and we'll have a peek here. Hmm. Well, I'm liking that. I'm going to now use my very fine brush, rinse out my other one, and my very fine brush here, which is a great brush. It's ceramic for ceramics, but I'm going to use it here. I'm going to use a little bit of blue, light, light blue that's mixed in with a bit of pink. So it's like a lavender blue now with a fair amount of water. And I'm just going to add some sort of circles around in places. And I'm not too fussy. And again, these will probably barely be noticed unless you're looking really closely. It's just framing some of the blossom. And you probably can't even really see that. So anyway, there's a bit more that I could be doing and I will do once I'm done, which is add some white dots through using the back of a brush, like the end here, and doing some dots through that will also help break that up and add a bit of movement. Yes, it's going to be awesome. So. I'll share a picture when I'm done with it anyway, but that is my mural. And we'll just go like that. So thank you very much. Let's now grab a card. We're just tying this up now. Try and get the stag's head. There we go. We're just tying this up now. So it feels like there's been quite subtle shifts that we've made in this healing event today moving some energy but also this really gentle um you know like if you imagine that before or as the branches in springtime the real delicate ones that are growing from the buds um you know those little sort of buds that you get and then they just go into shoots and imagine that these, the energy for these, the the blood, if you like, the life force is like pre or getting ready to push these up and out. So you might feel like there's something brewing, like there's something coming, like there's something under the surface or something that will soon be here, but maybe it hasn't shown up yet. So also maybe tap into that energy of, you know, that pre-excitement, that pre-anticipation I suppose before the growth sort of kicks in so this energy in creating this and if you're inspired to do some creating around this too then great that will also help you tap into that movement of growth that um oh maybe Jane I hadn't really thought about it um yeah tap into that energy and that movement of growth for you and how that really fits into your life at this time and how you feel and especially if you've been feeling lacking in growth if you've been stagnant or things aren't really happening for you what needs shaking up what needs stirring what can you do to get things moving again and growing again for you so let's grab a card here to finish this up I want to thank you so much for joining me today. A big extra special thank you to all of my patrons who are on the healing list today. Thank you so much for your support. Um, I trust you've enjoyed this healing time today. It's raining outside, our first rain since we've been here, like decent rain. Uh, so, yeah, and it's very cold. It's like four degrees. <laughs> so I certainly wasn't going to be outside. Uh, it probably won't be much during winter but uh, looking forward to doing that in springtime 
But, um, yeah, thank you for allowing me to connect with you today. If you want to be a part of this healing event next month, um, please have a look at the Patreon link below. The, the $15 level or higher gives you access to this healing event. And if you want to participate again next month, I look forward to connecting with you again. Okay, the best healing energy card the majority of us need as we move and blossom on, grow on from here, is this here. Protected. Card 74. It says, stand strong, safety, protection, protect yourself. <laughs> oh, sorry. Protect yourself, your loved ones and your property. Protective force field activated. Step back, temporary and passing storm. So this is a need some of us might feel, maybe you feel, a need to um, find or enforce your protection at this time. So pro feeling protected helps keep us feeling safe, especially if we've been feeling vulnerable or things are a bit crazy right now or we feel confronted by things that might be happening or scared we might find it helpful to really um, enforce and embody and strengthen our protective shield. So you can imagine yourself in like an eggshell or a protective bubble where no negativity comes in. Now, and a really important element of this protection too, it's not just about not letting negative forces in. It's also, I find it's like two part because it also helps keep our inner space, the place in inside the protection shield if it was an eggshell inside the egg basically where we are our ourselves to keep that energy high so protective shields not only keeping negativity out but keeping the inner place nice and balanced um, so we don't feel drained by the negativity or the the low energy that's coming in that we notice around us or things that we're dealing with in life that then pulls us down. So protective field up to protect us from unwanted negative energies, entities, cord hooks, attacks and attachments, and to keep our inner space nice and imbalanced. Imbalanced. So that it's almost like staying in the eye of the storm when we're in that centred, protected, safe place where it's sunny here, <laughs> even in the middle of a tornado or a hurricane. We have the eye of the storm where it's sunny. It's calm here. You wouldn't even know that there's a storm just out there. So when we get out of that balance or we get into low energy places, we get whipped up into that hurricane and that storm. So think of your protection shield as like that eye in the storm that not only keeps you in some ways immune but maybe just less affected by the outside winds and storm and chaos that's taking place but it also keeps you in a nice place the more you think about what's going on out there the more you're letting it in so keeping your space clear and calm and balanced and keeping yourself centered to help you cope with whatever it is you're coping with or dealing with right now so your protective field is two-part. It's the outer protection and the inner calm place. So if you need protection now, if you're feeling unsafe or vulnerable or exposed, then maybe this resonates with you. It's temporary too. So it's temporary protection needed for some if you've been feeling like you need it. So you're not alone and um, I'm sure things will work out for you. So that's our card to leave here. So thank you. And in some ways, you know, it reminds me a bit of the stag. Protecting and looking after the fawn here, the vulnerable, the, the one that he's teaching um, so that he, this fawn can become an adult too at some point as it grows there's a lot of sort of guardian protective feeling here too this protective inner father protective energy really looking after this um 
fawn, this inner child, if you like, this vulnerable part of who we are. So you are safe, you are protected as you grow. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a fantastic rest of your day. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to reach out through my website at templeofbalance.com.au. Thank you so much. Namaste.